Hello, hello, and welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, of course, Willow Riley, coming back at you with a new video. I know it's been a minute, guys, but if you're new to my channel, warm welcome from my heart to yours. Come join a bit. You might enjoy it here. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and comments. We are almost at 4K subscribers. We're 20 subscribers away. I'm so excited. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. So I made a video about this about three years ago, but I thought I'd touch upon this. So this is going to be a video about Scorpio Risings. Not sure what I'm going to title it yet. We're just going to go with the flow. You know, I've been, I've been getting really in tune with my feminine energy and, you know, kind of sinking into my intuition. So I felt like this message was needed for Scorpio Risings. So. There's this old movie called The Truman Show with Jim Carrey. I don't know if you guys have seen it or if you've heard of it, but if not, you should watch the trailer. It's a really good movie. I really like it. But anyway, so basically what happens is Truman, the main character of the show, doesn't know it, but he's being filmed his entire life and recorded for everyone to see. And everybody is just playing the same part in his life. His life is very mundane. It's the same thing every day. And one of the characters actually slips in. And her name is Laura. And she falls in love with him. So they yank her out because they think she's not a good fit. He ends up getting up with Meryl. And they get married. Blah, 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 blah. Skip to the end. So the director of the show is directing, and during the phone calls, Lauren actually calls him as, and goes off. She goes ham on him, good on him. She's like, this is so not fair. Truman doesn't know his entire life has been recorded. Truman doesn't know that his life is a lie and that, you know, you made up his father dying on the boat and that if he would just get on the water, if he would just get across, he would make it into the real world and he would do his dream job and be, and be free. And the director is quiet for a minute, and then he says, Well, Lauren, you may not know this, but have you ever thought that maybe Truman prefers his cage? Whoa, epiphany there. And that's how I feel like the collective has went through and is going through at this current time. It's 2024. We know we have the election coming up. I'm not going to go into politics because of it. But um, a lot of people prefer their cage. A lot of people fall into comfortability. A lot of people are afraid of change. And that's where you guys come in, Scorpio Risings, because you guys are one of the few signs I have seen among all the zodiac signs as a Scorpio rising specifically, that truly, authentically embraces change, transition, and transformation. And it might not be by your own liking. <laughs> you might not even like it. And that's because Scorpio rising, you're ruled by Pluto. And Pluto is the planet of transformation. It's the planet of secrets, darkness, everything taboo, everything pushed under the rug big change it wants to change the collective as a whole and you're also ruled by mars which is the planet of the warrior which is the planet of our our drive it's our fire it's our assertiveness so as a scorpio rising you probably resonate with this you went through a lot of transformations in your life scorpio rising is one of the most resilient and strong signs along the side with leo and i don't want to leave any other zodiac sign out but um, you guys all have this within you. you. Everybody has strength and resilience. Everybody can pick themselves out of a bad situation and turn it into good. Everyone can look at things through a positive mindset. But I feel Scorpio Risings do this more on a monthly level, on a yearly level. Their life is never the same. They don't have the same friend group. They don't have the same house. They don't have the same partner. Their, their life is constantly transforming. And it's a beautiful thing because Scorpio Risings, you guys are meant to heal. You guys are meant to look at the darkness within yourself and look in the darkness within others. And that's why a lot of people, there's a pol polarity when it comes to Scorpio Risings. People either love or hate them because a Scorpio Rising like Gemini is just a mirror. We just reflect back to you what you are. 
And a lot of people don't like to look in the reflection. So with Scorpio Risings, if people don't like you, focus on the people who love you. Focus on the people who do like you. But the point of this video is, if you're going through a transformation in your life, embrace it. It's meant to help you spiritually. It's meant to help you grow. It's meant to show you some life lessons. Maybe this transformation is showing you, you know, some little flaws that you have that you need to work on. Maybe this transformation is showing you maybe some emotional baggage you've been holding on to. Maybe this transformation is showing you how to be more assertive in your life. Maybe this transformation is showing you to ask for more out of life. And if you're going through a transformation right now, I want to tell you I'm going through one too, and it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. God got your back. The universe got your back. Your spirit guides and your ancestors and guardian angels, you know, sirens in the background, uh, confirmation, would never give you something that you could not bear. And as Scorpio Risings, a lot of people don't understand us. We feel a little bit alienated, and a lot of people, they prefer their cage. They prefer not to enlighten themselves in a spiritual way. They prefer not to heal generational trauma. They prefer to stick in the same, well, I've been in this, I've always done it this way in a relationship, so I'm going to continue to do it this way. I've always parented this way, so I'm going to continue to parent this way. I've always had this friend group since high school, so I'm going to stay with this friend group. But Scorpio Risings, you guys really embrace that transformation because you went through so many in your childhood, adolescence, even in your 20s. You know, we each and every single one of us have a Saturn return that occurs when we're 30 years old. And that's when Saturn bogs down and shows us it's time to step up. It's time to be responsible. It's time to focus on our careers. But I'm not going to go into this because it's a Scorpio rising video. But basically, I don't know. I just had that epiphany today to say that, and that might be a message to someone, you know, what is your cage? How are you holding yourself back? Is there some type of comfortability that you have fallen into? And how can you break yourself out of that cage? How can you ask for more? How can you do more? How can you help others through your story? Because every Scorpio rising I've met, Scorpios in general, have some type of story that came from pain, that came from some type of trauma, some type of painful experience that almost broke them, but instead it shaped them like the phoenix rising from the ashes. So as Scorpio rising, what's your story? You know... How did you heal yourself? You guys are one of the ultimate teachers, along with Sagittarius, Aquarius. You know, every sign has the ability to teach. But Scorpio Rising, especially, people love you because you're very mysterious. You're very magnetic. People flock towards you. You're a good motivational speaker. People want to hear what you have to say. So as a Scorpio Rising, how can you show others how to heal? You know, what have you done in your life that has really changed your identity because the rising sign is our appearance but it's also our lifelong lifelong map in life it's also the experiences we go through i swear everything everything comes by as soon as i get recording the trains the sirens i guess spirit is very is very loud today <laughs> but um I guess I would just ask you to ask yourself what habits or what books or what knowledge have I acquired in the past few months or the past year even or the past 10 years that have helped me become a better person, that have helped me transform my life, that have helped me embrace change, that, is, that have helped me spread positivity, that have helped me change society for the better. and. I'm going to wait for a second. <laughs> the train. The train. You might want to look up this uh, symbolic spiritual symbolism behind trains. That might be important for you Scorpio Risings right now at this time because this train just came out of nowhere. But uh, dang, where was my point? <laughs> I'm getting so distracted. The ADHD within me. 
with Scorpio Risings, with that, oh, yeah, here it was. Um, I like this quote from Will Harrison, the astrologer. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. He's a phenomenal astrologer, spiritual guide, tarot reader. He's amazing. I love him so much. He's a good friend of mine. But I love this quote from Will, and it says, Use your gifts in an honest and honorable way. I think we should all embrace that as Scorpio Risings because it's easy to get caught up in the negative. It's easy to, to fall into a, depress, a depressive spiral. It's easy to, you know, let your emotions get a, the hold of you because you're Scorpios. You feel everything intensely. When you feel anger, you feel rage. When you feel sad, you feel depressed. When you feel happy, you feel elated. So all that being said channel your emotions you know channel out your beautiful emotions through poetry or writing a song or doing something romantic it doesn't matter if you have a partner or not buy yourself flowers you know take yourself out on a date you know put on a little tan you know whiten your teeth do whatever i don't i don't, I don't know what guys really do for self-care i guess get, get a new pair of shoes get a new sweatshirt i don't know <laughs> i only know for women but uh i'm kind of on the spectrum so it's like whatever but, uh, yeah, you know, as a Scorpio rising, just use your gifts in an honest and honorable way, and then everything will fall together. And realize, what is your cage? What's holding you back? And see if you can help others break out from that. So that's my video on Scorpio rising. What is your cage? Thank you guys for coming to this video. As always, I'm open for birth chart readings if you're interested, and tarot readings. All that will be in the description below. You can DM me on uh, my Instagram, or you can email me. It's in the description. It's pretty self-explanatory. Love you guys. Happy Lucky Tuesday. Bye!